Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you a build for the best saw in the game, the Sepfan Nikana. So let's see what it's made of. So the parts I have used to make this saw are the pay grip, the Sepfan strike and the Valjeet 2 jaw link. This gives us a lot of crits, attack speed and basically just crits, that's it and attack speed mostly now this is a slash heavy weapon i do have a ribbon for this the sepfan pura agricon if that's yeah that's how it's spell it i have crit damage good chance damaged infested that's pretty much useless but minus 69 puncture nice now this reduces our puncture rating meaning it gives the slash more chance to block now i have two builds basically for this weapon the first is the ribbon and without any basically just a plain slash build and to pair that up i have the epitaph as a primer this is a radiation and viral build this weapon has innate cold on its quick shot and blast so it gives us four elemental damage plus three ips now i am not using any mods on my nidus to not buff any of my attacks and i'm using the nathamon focus school for that combo duration what the Alright, let's simulate the enemies. I'm using heavy gunners, level 125. Can I increase it? Okay, no, I can't. Alright. Now I'm doing that combo. Now I do have Exodia Contagion on this weapon, but it's a rank 1, no, it's rank 0. Now I will show you a build for a Contagion, but maybe. Alright, now that I have combo all built up, I'm gonna simulate it again, but this time I'm gonna use the Epitaph to Prime status fix and let's see how big the difference is okay. as you can see the screen is all red with the creature i don't know what i'm saying here Nearly one shot. Insta kill. Again, insta kill. This is like one of my most powerful weapons that I have. Let's try the other build. Now this was the pure slash build with a ribbon. Now if you don't have a ribbon, you can replace it with Karnas Mandible. This will increase our slash and the status chance. It has terrible status chance. This with Weeping Wounds gives nearly guaranteed slash blocks all the time. But with less damage, of course. Next build is a Toxin and Slash build. I am using Prime Fuel Strike. You can use the regular Fuel Strike if you do not have the Prime version. Same goes for most of these like mods. You can use Prime Reach or any range mod instead of Gladiator Might. You can replace this with Karnas Mandible, though then what's the point of having this? And Berserker is kind of a must. Like attack speed like basically means more attack speeds means 
more damage and more damage means you're killing enemies faster now condition overload can be replaced with pressure point though like it's not highly recommended and let's see this build now this will do well against the corpus let's get some of the shino elite or let's do these guys Oh, Did it come up? Anything that goes to the near will kill these guys. Oh, one million. I think there is a one million toxin tick. Let's do that again. Three million. Two million. I'm pretty sure that was a thousand last million. I don't think I can be. Was that two million? One million toxin drop. I'm not even using the proper brain mod. Okay, let's try this with the proper brain mod. Okay, I have smite grenier here. This is the place that it's smite corpus. Now, brain mods aren't like compulsory, but they do actually increase your damage by a lot. I'm pretty sure that's the bug. DE fixer game. Pull them together. And they're dead. Now, even if they spawn those ospreys, it's no big deal. The toxin bypasses the shields. Let's look at the final build. Now, I'll try a viral build on this. You use Bland Justice. If any of you use Tranquil Cleave and decides to jump drench, just get out of here. These two are terrible chances. This is the best. So, now for the build, I'm gonna be throwing on Fear Strike. Oh, uh, no, don't need that. Let's go with the demon itself. Let's go with condition overload, blood rush, berserker. Now I am going to be using the 6060 maxed out mods for that status chance. And weeping wounds. Now I'm gonna be using the grenier instead of the corpus. They are much more tankier. Now, if this will work against the demon, it will work anywhere else. Except for maybe some infested. Yeah. How is it that I'm blocking impact but not viral? Okay, this chance blocks right up. Okay. So, as you can see, it works against the Grenier, it works anywhere else. Let's try one without the Riven. Carnage Mandipi. Let me just change this for. Uh, are there zero wishes for us? Uh, maybe let's keep this and we'll go with a uh, rank 2 weather and scourge that will be better hold them together and uh, see them die 
uh, you definitely lose out some damage without the Divin. Now Zordwins are relatively cheap, so you should not be a problem trying to get a win for this. Okay, let's test out on this one. No violence, but she still died. As you can see, this is like one of the most powerful weapons in the game. This is all. I think the only other weapon that can compete with it in its category is the Nikana Prime. Now, I would say the Nikana Prime is better, but this weapon has more like. Oh, wait. Oh, Nikana Prime is somewhat better. No, it actually is better than this. What was I thinking? But because I have a Riven, this is better. Now, the only thing where it shines is the crit chance and base damage. Then you kinda has a lower base damage, but higher slash values compared to the Kusanagi or my Sephan saw. Oh, yeah, here it's given the Valji 2 Jai Link, Pay Grip, and Sephan Strike. Uh, Nikana Prime is definitely better than my saw but this is still a great weapon for lower MR players and relatively easy to get so I hope you enjoyed the build and I hope I well that's it I guess I don't know a proper outro so subscribe like if you enjoyed and I'll see you all later. Bye.